This video is going to show you what a espresso pool on a Flare 58 espresso machine looks like. It's a hand levered machine that you basically control the pressure on the lever to adjust your pores. Looking good. It's coming down nice and caramely. Did a little slow-mo there. That way I can uh, adjust my pour accordingly and see what's going on with it. Looking pretty good. So the Flare 58 is uh, different from the Flare 58X in that the 58 model comes with a heated head. So that offers you more consistency in your pools when you have a heating element. Um, that shot's looking pretty good. Still need to do some work with it. A bottomless portafilter, which is what I'm using, gives you the capability of being able to look at your pour and determine where you need work in your tamp and dispersion of your coffee. Um, the grinder that I'm using, you can kind of see it in the background, is a Rancilla Rocky. We've had that for about eight years, too. Just ordered some new uh, burrs for that. So we should be uh, probably having to recalibrate here once I get those burrs in. Last few drops, of course, that was in slow-mo, so the time on that was different from actual. Here's the puck. Dispersion screen uh, is on top of the portafilter. There you go. Here comes your puck. Very nice, dry, consistent pucks. Um, so far, we've been really happy with the coffee and espresso that this has produced. There's the shot. Looks pretty good. I'm using PT's beans, uh, a roast called Southfall, and it's from the PT's Roastery in Topeka, Kansas. Gonna pour that over some dark Gridelli chocolate. Yum, yum. And then because it's a hand lever machine, you have to froth the milk on your own. Just did a quick little hand frother. Looking pretty good. Give that a little stir. That's a, a double walled Bodum glass uh, cappuccino cup. Pretty nice, but very uh, fragile. There's the shot. Looks good. Let's drink.